Okay, to represent domain and range. Domain, first of all, is the set of input values for a function, and range is a set of output values. So generally, you can think of domain as meaning our x values, and range as meaning the y values if you're looking at a function. Now, in order to represent these, we're going to need to know the connection between inequality notation, interval notation, graphs, and set builder notation. Um, these usually aren't too bad, but it does take a little bit of practice. Typically, we're going to ask for interval notation the most often for your solutions. All right, so let's just take a look at one of these. Let's take a look at this first one where we have 5 is less than h is less than or equal to 10. That corresponds with the interval notation 5 to 10, but on the left-hand side we're going to have a parenthesis because that's not included as part of our solution set, and 10 we're going to have those square brackets because it is included. So what you can start doing is go ahead and categorize these things together. A strict inequality, like a less than, goes along with not including the endpoint, so it could be a, a parenthesis on that side. Whereas a less than or equal to corresponds with a square bracket, and that could be on either side, as you can see in the next line down on our chart. All right, to graph this, what we'd want to do is go ahead and we're looking at the interval where 5 and 10 are, in, are important values on a number line. To represent that 5 is not included, what we're going to do is use an open circle, so that goes along in the same category, strict inequality, parenthesis, and open circle all go together. Whereas the 10 is supposed to be included, so what we're going to do is use a filled-in circle on this side. So again, that goes along right here with our less than or equal to, our square brackets, and our filled-in circles go correspond. Now, h is allowed to be any value in between these two. So how we can represent that on a graph is we would shade that interval in between 5 and 10. Now, set builder notation isn't that bad actually. What you want to do is you always start out with the set squiggly brackets of x and then a vertical line. With this vertical line what we're going to say is such that. Alright so that vertical line you say such that and then what you want to do is use your inequality notation cut and paste it over here after that vertical line. So we'd say well in our case it's 5 is less than h is less than or equal to 10. Then we'll close this off with another squiggly bracket. Now I did make a mistake here because h is our variable. Instead of being x out in front here, we're going to replace x with h. So this would be read off as the set of h such that 5 is less than h is less than or equal to 10. And all of these correspond together. So we want to get comfortable with going back and forth in between inequality notation, interval notation, graphs, and set builder notation. So you could start out with a graph and be able to transfer that over to interval notation or to inequality notation or to set builder notation. So I hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working on these.